we want to look at some non-traditional subtraction. Now, a traditional method of subtraction is that you would look at your ones place and say, oh, seven from four, I can't do that, so you have to do some borrowing. But instead, what I want to do is I want to look at place value. This nine actually means 90. This actually means a four, because it's in the ones place. The three is a 30, and that's a seven, because it's in the ones place. So what I actually am going to be doing is just subtracting the places. So what I actually have, 90 minus 30, we love subtracting the zeros again, is 60. 4 minus 7, you're right, we got a problem. Think of if you have $4 and you spent 7, you went in the hole $3. And that's exactly what you write. You put in that you still have to subtract 3. So 60 minus the 3 leaves you an answer of 57. Let's look at that same type of problem, but with larger place values. This is 800 minus 300. This is 60 minus 70. This is 2 minus 9. Now, what I want to look at is what I actually have. 800 minus 300, don't we just love those zeros again, is 500. 60 minus 70, I went in the hole, 10. And 2 minus 9, I went in the hole, 7. So let's look at that big picture. 500 minus 10 is 490. And then I still have to subtract 7, which gives me my 483. We all know that borrowing with zeros can be very cumbersome sometimes. Let me show you a method of borrowing with zeros that's just a little bit less cumbersome. As you look at the 6 minus the 1, or subtracting from the 1, you can't do that. So you know you have to borrow. Can't borrow there or there or phew, we can finally come clear over here. But what I want to do is I come over here until I find a number that I can borrow from, and I'm going to borrow one from 800. I have 800. If I take $1 out, what do I have left? 799, and that brought that over as a 1. So now I have an 11. 11 minus 6 is 5. Notice right here, all of my borrowing is done. So 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 4 is 5. 7 minus 2 is 5. And 2 minus 1 is 1. 15,555. Let's try one more example like that. Noticing here, 4 from 0, can't do it. So I'm going to come next door and I'm going to draw a line up to the point where I need to, that I can borrow from and make myself a square. So take 1 away from 50, and I get 49, bringing over that that I just borrowed to make a 10. Now I subtract. 10 minus 4 is 6. 9 minus 6 is 3. 4 minus 8, got to borrow. So once again, I start next door and come over till I find something to borrow from. Take 1 away from 90, gives me an 89, and it makes that number a 14. So 14 minus 8 is 6, 9 minus 7 is 2, and 8 minus 4 is 4. 42,636.